Hey, 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 Facebook. Hey, beauties, how are you? Oh, Lord, I hope I do not mess this up because it wants to give me a minute here. I'm trying to... All right. Get this where the lighting works. Let's see. Oh, it's too bright. All right. Morning, morning, morning. I am getting ready for church. And... Oh, hold on. Hi. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. All right. All right, so let's get this show on the road. I've already gone ahead. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I've got, I've already put all of my, uh, my skincare, and today there's no time to do my full-blown foundation and all that, so I am just going to, okay, just had it in my hand. Today's one of those days, I guess, okay, it's all good. I just had it. It's all good. Let's find something else. All right. I'm just going to take my concealer and I am just going to conceal where I need it most, right? So I have a blemish or just something I need to cover because we're looking for quick and easy. Hope you guys are having a great morning. And yesterday was a great day. I was praying that my tooth would not act up and it didn't. So I am thankful for that. I'm going with whatever was left on my brush for my concealer. I'm not doing foundation. It's hot. And I just want to... Something really... That'll cover me a little bit. Nothing major. Just going on again with my concealer. The one I'm using now is the concealer as close to my skin as possible and now I'm going to go in with the concealer that's a little lighter and I'm going to highlight and use it as my primer on my lid and so yeah thankfully yesterday my tooth, whatever the dentist did, she did a good job. It's not a permanent, right? But I have to go back. But it was enough. Though I was in serious pain on Friday, thankfully, I got up yesterday and there was a little tingle, but nothing major. Got to take care of these teeth, man, because once they're gone, they're gone. I mean, we can always get, right? Seems like there's a falsy for everything, including teeth, so. But if I can keep my own, then definitely would prefer that. And so I was able yesterday to go through my whole day. Yesterday I was uh, at Ella's Fashion, young Hispanic girl that is that opened up her her boutique. She's got some beautiful dresses. So if you're in Tampa, you may want to go and visit Ella over on Waters, 4143 West Waters. Again, beautiful dresses. She's hoping to get more stuff in because, you know, in the beginning you start with and you start building. You start with what you have and then you start building. So but the initial selections that she has are truly beautiful. I'm now going in with my translucent loose powder, which is 
very similar to our pressed powder. The only thing is that it is loose. I just put it in this little container so that I don't have to haul a big, let's move to the big fluffy, so that I don't have to haul a big, uh, big containers in my kit. And the great thing is it does not deposit color, but it mattifies and So look how awesome this coverage is and I didn't use foundation I just used our concealer and that was it concealer and the powder Ta -da! all right now eyebrows and maybe a little out of it. I'm going to look to the side here as I do my uh, get into my magnifying glass. And I'm using again our eyeshadow because it's multi purpose, very functional eyeshadow. I can use it. I use it for my eyeliner, I use it for my eyebrows and then there's a lighter color in here that I love for contouring because it has the right amount of gray in it to create a great contour okay so Nicole from LS Fashion yesterday had her grand opening and those that purchased 50 or more got to get a have a makeover with me and I had women from different skin texture color age right and it was just great to see how my products work on all skin types regardless of so that was pretty neat then I stayed there till like 8 8 15 and being able to pack up all of the makeup in one bag which was my makeup bag my Isom makeup bag again another great plus so yesterday I got to put a few things to test and I'm happy with the outcome and of course everyone was happy with their makeup so that's that is always a plus all right so base is done take I'll put the foundation and concealer away because I'm done won't be using that now I'm going to take the Lottie palette dream palette just gonna put a little color up in here and after I managed to get all that done I came home and I was like oh lord I was truly exhausted but it was a good day because I was able to do what I love and I've told you this before when you're doing what you love it's like it's not work it's not a job it's doing your passion so and the ability to be able to help someone else build their dreams 
and help promote them and pass on whatever wisdom, whatever knowledge you have so that they can succeed and they don't run into the same issues you might have had or the experiences you might have had. It's always a plus. That's how I see it. Helping others build their dreams. And that was yesterday and today. Today there are a few things on the agenda. We are planning on moving. Yay! So that promises to be the next few months will be a little chaotic. And we're going to go be checking out our future home today. And uh, what else? That's after church. A few errands here and there, but mainly come home. I'm looking forward to cooking because I've not done that in the past few days and so not like me. But this past week was hard because I had that toothache to contend with. So hoping everything comes back to normal. And then next weekend, I get to go to the Orlando Makeup Show. Yay! So that is something I look forward to. And... That's basically it. So this week was the challenge because of the tooth, but other than that, it was a good week. Getting organized. When you organize yourself on Sunday, it just seems like everything else runs so much smoother. Did I mix this with the wrong color? Yes, I did. Okay. So, yeah, and I'm just mixing colors here and hoping everything looks good at the end. What are you guys up to today? I know that the Strawberry Festival is here in Florida. I think Plant City, is that where that is? Time to blend and be done with this because I got seven minutes. Okay. Okie dokie. Blend, blend, blend. And so when once I get home and I calm down, what I like to do is I take time to clean the brushes if I've done anything on the weekend with my kit. So I'll, I'll be cleaning brushes today. That way I don't have to leave it for the last moment and then something comes up and I'm found with dirty brushes. So I like to take care of those as soon as possible. I sanitize the so I don't have to worry about that part. And then once I do that, then I'm going to plan out my week, set the goals for the week of what I want to achieve this week. I know from a company standpoint, our the hyper growth that we have had is leading us to have to move into a new warehouse and hire more people because it has been overwhelming to say the least. They have been bombarded with orders that they never anticipated. They knew we would grow, but not in the leaps and bounds that we have and so that has caused major shifting and major planning to take place so that 
they can accommodate all of the orders. Alright, so now I am just using again same eyeshadow for my upper and my lower liner. Lash line. Who's there? Somebody there. And all right, that's done. Take a little powder, get rid of anything that might have fallen. Right. Hi, Peggy. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm here rushing, getting ready for church. And I just put on concealer, no foundation today, just concealer and some loose powder. And showing how versatile our products can be. All right. Now, curl lashes. Did I leave my curler? Let's see. Uh, nope, it's right here. Curl lashes, curl lashes. Okay, one. Oh, okay. So what I do, Peggy, is I just take a shader brush. You can take this one or you can use something like this. Okay? Or something like this. Hold on. Okay? If you use this one, you see how it's angled? Then you place it under the eye and you let that angle work for you and get as close to the eyelashes as possible. And then you do the same on top. As close to the eyelash as possible. And then you just run it another trick you can do is place and flick up place and flick up so it's going to be like if you are a more a Liquid line. You can spray some of the priming on your hand, the back of your hand. Dip the brush in the eyeshadow. Okay. I hope that helps. Let me just a little more over here because I know I don't. I just had it in my hand. Oh, here it is. Alright. Did that help? See, and I have the liner. It's not inside the eye because I happen to like. Cool. I'm glad. I'm here to help each other out. Any other questions? Feel free. So, I don't have any foundation, like I said. Um, all I have is concealer and loose powder. And now I'm going to go in the new formula I mean new, uh, not formula our new packaging for the mascara Ooh, I'm liking this one already and what I like to do is 
I'll give myself one coat of mascara and then I'll go on and do something else on work on something else while this dries because if you allow your coats to dry in between you'll get a bigger bang for your buck Oh my gosh, yes. I have no eyelashes. So even getting them that long, it's a miracle. So while they dry, I'm going to go in with my contour. What I use for contour is either D from the La Palette or... Hope for the best. And I like these because they have enough gray in them. The undertone is gray. So it looks great. It does just great for contouring. And remember, contouring is just giving a shadow to the areas that we want to push back. We want to hide, if you may. We don't want to bring attention to. And you don't stop at that line. You bring it back to your chin. Some of us have more of a chin to cover than others, and that's fine. Then... Take my big fluffy brush. There's a bronzer that I love because it's matte and it's the physician formula. I prefer a matte bronzer. And then I'll show you what I use our bronzer for. And then the bronzer, I just bring it down to the outer side of my neck. Under the chin. That's where that contour was. Right? Then, I'm going to go. Okay, I'll get you later. Then I'll put on some. blush you're a good good father love that song it's who I am and I'm loved by you it's who I am it's who I am it's who I am you're Um, I used Crystal from Lottie's Dreamlight Palette up on the, on the brow. Then I used I used Taupe for the Best as the transition and then Brownie Points on my outer V and I use a little bit of the excited blush in the middle just to pop it with a little color. And then a little, oh, I used Lament over in the third part of the mobile lid. And then in the corners, I just put a little of the crystal just so that they can pop. All right. All right. We're almost done, guys. Now, shadows done. All I'm going to do now is take our 
bronzer. Told you, coming back, right? Before that, I'm gonna take some of the Lament and Crystal. Those happen to be my favorite highlighters. Going back to how you don't have to use eyeshadows just eyeshadow but start seeing them like um cat says color so it's color that i can use anywhere okay and then i forgot to contour my nose which to me is a must so i'm just gonna take some of that dd Dee Dee. Is who you are. A little bit goes a long ways. All right. All right. This is it. Blend. Got to blend. All right. Okay, then I'm going to take that bronzer. As if I had been sun kissed. Alright. Last but not least, I will take. And this is just, again, something I learned a while back. I will take our press powder. And then just do that. Press it in with a puff. Press it in. And I will tell you that your makeup, it won't be going anywhere. And then I just take my fluffy brush. Make sure everything is blended. Take my finishing spray. 10 years younger finishing spray. Spray that on. While that dries, another coat of mascara, and I'm done. That is today's makeup. I'm going to put on that last coat of mascara, fix my hair, and I will be taking a pic of the final look so that you guys can see. I hope you guys, now I find the brush I was looking for earlier. Always happens. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's put on some lipstick before I... <laughs> if you're catching it on the replay thank you so much for joining for tuning in please like share and comment enjoy your Sunday whatever your Sunday consists of be sure to spend it with family and Get yourself organized for the week, right? Set your goals, your action steps, and get your, set yourself up for success. And be sure to get everything as much ready possible. If you power cook, if you uh, have clothes that you have to set so that during the week, you're not stressing and running and trying to get it all done in the morning. So as much as you can prep on Sundays at least, it helps me a lot. So even if it's just prepping out the menu for the week, because then you don't have to be, oh, what am I going to cook today? All right, guys, be blessed, and we will be in touch. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Um, and it was a pleasure being with you this Sunday morning.
Adiós. Bye.